How is everybody? Oh, I just like hit my tooth when I did that. How are you? How's it been? Um, as you may or may not know, um, it is day two of the six day countdown until my visualized workshop. It's a virtual three hour retreat um, this coming Saturday. And basically what we're gonna be doing is stream of consciousness writing, visualization exercises, and drawing to basically build the life that we wanna live. And with this excitement for Saturday, uh, I wanted to do the six day countdown to tell you guys a story each day about how I've used visualization and all of these different little tools to change the way my life, like basically to turn my life around, the trajectory of my entire life. So um, yesterday I talked about envisioning a life where I was so basically so fiercely in love with myself, so passionately in love with myself that I set the standard for other people. And um, today I wanted to talk about, you know, back two years ago where I actually envisioned a life where I was able to make enough money to say goodbye to the roommates, love you Stormy, um, say goodbye to the roommate, live on my own, and travel a lot more. Two years ago, goodness gracious, two years ago, I was living in South Philly, had a really, really tiny, tiny, tiny two-bedroom apartment um, with my best friend Stormy, and while it was great, it was also rough. I worked three jobs. I, you know, two years ago, I worked three jobs. I worked part-time teaching an after-school program. I worked um, at a part-time administrative job, and then I worked part-time at a grocery store. Not to mention, I think uh, thrown in there was an artist residency. So I was crazy broke and crazy busy. I was waking up at like 6.30 in the morning and not getting home till like 11 o'clock at night. And that was two years ago, two years ago. I was, I was living in this, this two bedroom apartment with Stormy that was, that had no living room. It was, um, it was basically like a long apartment where her bedroom was here and my bedroom was here and the kitchen was in the middle and the bathroom was in the middle. And it was like a hallway um, that we kind of lived in. And it was, it was this apartment that I lived in was infested with mice. It was a 20 minute walk just to get to public transit. And it was rough two years ago. I just got my notifications um, that I was gonna be paying back my student loans. And I remember being on the phone with the, uh, with the servicer, the person who collected the debt, saying like, look, I can't afford this. I literally, can't afford to pay this bill. I And I was like, can we bring the payment down? And they're like, absolutely not. Um, we can't bring this payment down. And I was like, you don't understand. I just graduated college. I work at a grocery store. Like, I don't understand. Two years ago, I was I started visualizing and, and started meditating. And I was like, I've got to get out of this. I, I have to step into what is calling me. And I was all over the place two years ago. I had no idea how I was going to make more money. I had no idea what my, I mean, I knew what my general calling was, really. It's, it's always been about helping other women, you know, step into their, into their calling, whether that's just my friends or my family or beyond, which is where my business has taken me. So two years ago, I was there. A year ago, I um, did my very, very, very first Facebook Live video one year ago. I think it was one year ago yesterday I did my very first Facebook Live video. And it was a tour of my very own apartment. So before this, I had always lived with a roommate um, from 2010 the whole way up until last year. I had always had a roommate. And last year, I, because I had been meditating, because I had been visualizing, because everything that I got from those two exercises I put into action, we can't be like all la da here, right? <laughs> everything that I did um, in those exercises fed into my action, into feeding, into action, basically. They fed into action. And they helped me get that apartment. They helped me create a Facebook Live you know, a year ago where I was prancing around my apartment so excited to show you guys what I can claim as mine. 
what is mine that I did without the help of, you know, a partner or whatever it is. And I was so proud. And, and then it was rough too. I mean, one year ago, I was just starting my business. I was scraping by, um, Luckily, I had like friends that would give me, you know, let me have some of their drinks when we would go out and, and whatever. But um, I was adjusting and acclimating to paying, you know, double the amount of rent of what I was used to. And I continued. I continued to visualize what is life going to be like when, you know, and now that I have this apartment, now what? What's next? Oh, my goodness. I want to travel more. I want to experience and see life to its fullest. Hey, Catherine. Um, I want to be able to take the next step in independence and, and fulfillment for the life that I want. So to recap, two years ago today, I was living in a crummy two-bedroom apartment that was infested with mice. I was working four different jobs, a grocery store, a part-time administrative job, um, an after-school program, and I was doing a free artist residency that took 12 hours of my week, too. Um, a year ago, I made my first Facebook live video and, um, which was me moving into my one, into my one bedroom apartment. Hey, Catherine, how are you? I feel like I always am messaging, we're always messaging, but I never get to hear your beautiful voice. <laughs> um, so, and then, so one year ago, I moved into my first, you know, one bedroom apartment. I was so excited. I was so excited. I was scraping by. And I was like, okay, well, what's next? I'm, I'm here. I'm scraping by. I want to have, I want to do more than just scrape by. I want to build a life where I can totally afford eggs. I can totally afford milk. I can totally just go out and eat out at a restaurant and be like, no biggie, not a big deal. But also in addition to that, I was like, oh my gosh, I also want to travel. I want to see the world. I want to grow my business. I want to see to have an impact on people's lives. And I sat down and I thought, and I, I did these exercises, which you've heard me say over and over again, called, you know, they're called Collegos, they're called pre-capping, they're called, um, you know, visualization exercises. I sat down and I said, this is what I want out of life. Um, you know, so I, I, it's basically like being grateful for something before you have it. You're pretending like you already have it. So it's like I sat down and I was like, I am so freaking grateful that I just got to travel across the country and see this really awesome person and do this really awesome thing. And I got to chill on the beach or like whatever. I was just going through. And then I got all of these ideas as I was doing it. Oh, my goodness. I do have a friend in San Diego that would totally let me couch surf. Oh, my goodness. I I could totally do this uh, this workshop and and expand my impact that way, which, by the way, feeling salty has become the signature workshop for a piece of Positivity Studios, which is my business. And I have, because I visualized it, and because I basically imagined what success looked like and then reverse engineered, basically imagine what success looked like and how I got to that imagined success and put it into action, I'm able to, you know, I'm able to live roommate free. I'm able to live on my own and say, like, I'm doing this. I've got it. And I'm able to travel more. I'm able to see the things that I want to see all across the country on a regular basis. So um, day two, I envisioned a day where I made enough money to ditch all of those things and 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 create a better experience for myself. So that's today's story. I've got, what, four more days of stories leading up to the Visualize Workshop. I hope that you're going to join me for all of the stories and for the Visualize Workshop. Um, so if you don't know what Visualize is, it's a, a three-hour virtual retreat, basically like Facebook Live, except for a little bit more interaction and off of the public platform. So it's a little bit more intimate. And we're going to be doing stream of consciousness writing, visualization exercises. So I'll walk you through what that looks like and how to do it. And then we're going to be creating a six month plan for stepping into your goals, stepping into your dream life. Hey, Laurie, um, stepping into what you really want out of life. So, um, and I do like to mention that there's going to be some drawing in this workshop. So it's going to be funky. It's going to be fun. It's not going to be like some very, very strict, boring, like it's not, uh, your brain is not going to hurt. And if it does, it's your own fault because it's so much fun to do this workshop. Um, 
it's very rare that that happens. <laughs> but I hope to see you on Saturday. Um, the way it works is if you want to get a, your materials mailed to you, you have to sign up by tomorrow, let's say, by the end of the day tomorrow. So by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you'll get an amazingly cute mail art package. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see what that looks like um, with all of your materials. If you sign up after Wednesday, you'll get all of your materials virtually. So you'll get the packet that you need. Um, you'll get everything so that you can uh, participate and really delve into what's going on here, what your heart wants, how to build the life that you want. Um, anyway, I've got the link in the co or in the description. It's apopstudios.com slash visualize dash workshop. Um, it'll have all of the extra information there for you. And I hope that you'll join me because it's going to be awesome sauce and it's going to be a lot of great quality time um, with yours truly. Um, so anyway, I will be announcing when I'm going live tomorrow for my third story, kind of how visualization has helped me transform my life. I and I'm going to announce it tomorrow morning. It'll probably be in the evening, but it could be tomorrow morning um, as well. So keep your eyes peeled for when I'm going live next because I love to keep in contact and hear what you guys think. All right, I'll see you guys later.